Toastmasters in the evening, Madam Vice President membership, fellow Toastmasters and guests, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I will present an extract from How the Grinch Stole Christmas. It is a child story by Dr. Zeus, written in rhyme verse. It is about the Grinch, a grumpy, solitary creature who tries to end Christmas by stealing Christmas items, food and presents from the homes of a nearby town, Poolville, on Christmas Eve. Miraculously, the Grinch realizes that Christmas may not at all be about money and presents. Every who in Whoville likes Christmas a lot. But the Grinch who lived just north of Whoville did not. The Grinch hated Christmas, the whole Christmas season. Now, please don't ask why. No one quite knows the reason. It could be, perhaps, that his shoes were too tight. <laughs> it could be his head wasn't screwed on just right. <laughs> but I think the most likely reason of all may have been that his heart was two sizes too small. But whatever the reason, his heart or his shoes, he stood there on Christmas Eve, hating the hoops, staring down at his cave with a sour, grinchy frown at the warm, lighted windows below in town. For he knew Every who down in who will in it was busy hanging a, a holly who wreath. And they are changing stockings, is now with the snake. Tomorrow is Christmas, it's practically here. Then he growled with his grinch fingers nervously, nervously drumming. I must find some ways to keep Christmas from coming. For tomorrow, he knows, all the cool girls and boys will wake up bright and early, the rush for their toys. And then, oh the noise, oh the noise, 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 the one thing he hated, all oh, the noise, 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 noise. They'll stand together with Christmas bells ringing, they'll stand hand in hand, and those fools will start singing, and they'll sing. And they'll sing, and they'll sing, 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 sing. And the more the Grinch thought of this cool Christmas thing, the more the Grinch thought, I must stop this whole thing. Why, for 53 years I've been putting with it now, I must stop Christmas from coming. But how? <laughs> then he got an idea, an awful idea. The Grinch got a wonderful, awful idea. I know what to do. The Grinch laughed in his throat, and he made a quickie Santa Claus hat and a coat. And he chuckled and clucked, what a great Grinchy trick. With this coat and this hat, I look just like Saint Nick. This is stop number one, the old Grinchy cross as he climbed to the roof, empty bags in his fist. Then he slid down the chimney, a rather tight pinch, but if Santa would do it, so could the Grinch. He got stuck only once for a minute or two, then he stuck his head out of the fireplace flue, where the little woo stockings hung all in a row. These stockings, he grinched are the first things to go. Then he slid and slumped with a smile most unpleasant. Around the room he took every present. It was quarter of dawn. All the fools still a bed. All the fools still a snooze where he packed up his sled. Packed it up with their presents, their ribbons, their wrappings. Their snoof and their puzzles, their triggers and trappings. 10,000 feet up, up the side of Mount Compet, he rode with his load to the tip top to dump it. Cool, cool to the coals. He was graciously coming. They are finding out now that no Christmas is coming. 
They're just making up. I know just what they'll do. Their mouths will hang open, open for a minute or two. Then the hooves down in Whoville will all cry, boo-hoo! <laughs> then that's a noise, green, green, that I simply want to hear. So he paused, and the Grinch put his hand to his ear. And he did not hear a sound. For soon, a sound did happen over the snow. It started in low, then it started to grow. But this sound wasn't sad. Why, this sound sounded glad. Every who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, was singing without any presence at all. He, had stopped Christ he hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came, somehow or other, it came just the same. And the Grinch, with his Grinch feet, ice cold in the snow, stood puzzling and puzzling. How could it be so? It came without ribbons. It came without tags. It came without packages, boxes, or bags. He puzzled three hours till his puzzling was solved. Then the Grinch thought of something he hadn't before. Maybe Christmas, he thought, does not come with a store. Maybe Christmas, perhaps, means a little bit more. And what happened then? Well, in Whoville, they say, that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. And now that his heart didn't feel quite so tight, he wheezed with his load through the bright morning light. He brought back everything, all the food for the feast, and he, he himself, the Grinch, carved the roast feast. Welcome Christmas, bring your cheer, cheer to all hooves, far and near. Christmas Day will always be, just as long as we have we. Welcome Christmas while we stand, heart to heart and hand in hand. Yeah.